if you guys take a look at this, you guys notice, Julian, that you can't simplify this. Correct? We can't simplify this at all. So in the, like the last problem, always try to simplify. Always try to divide your denominator into your numerator if possible. But in this case, we cannot simplify. We cannot simplify. So therefore, what we're gonna, what another thing we can do is we can break this up into the square root of x over the square root of 8y. Now, the next thing we can do is rather than if we can't simplify by dividing our denominator into our numerator, we can always eliminate the radical from the denominator. So basically, what we need to do then is have the nth root of a to the nth, right? a to the nth power. So we need to be able to write our radicand to the, what is our index in this problem? 2, Two right? So we need to be able to write 8y to the second power. So what should I multiply 8y? So therefore, I have it as 8y squared. How many, how many 8y's do I need to multiply by? Just 1. So if I multiply this by 8y, therefore, that would give me 8 times 8 is 8 squared. y times y is y squared. However, the problem is you can't multiply just a number into the radical. The only way we can multiply radicals is as long as they have the same index. So I have to rewrite this as the square root of 8y. And then whatever I do in the denominator to produce equivalent fractions, I have to multiply in the numerator. So now I can multiply, the, now I can multiply my radicands. So in doing that, in my numerator, I obtain 8xy. In my denominator, I now obtain 8 squared y squared. Now can I simplify? Can I simplify the square root of 8 squared? Can I simplify the square root of y squared? I can't really do anything up here. However, I can simplify the square root of 8, which I probably actually should have done first. Square root of 8 can be broken down into the square root of 4 times 2, which is 2 square root of 2. I should have done that. So therefore, I get 2 square root of 2xy all over 8y. And then that reduces to 1 fourth. So my final answer is that reduces to 1 over 4. 2 over 8 reduces to 1 over 4, yeah, right? Yes? No? OK. Where's the what? So that would be number 41. All right.